All right, in this video, I'm going to compare two very innovative companies in IonQ and Rigetti Computing. These companies operate quantum computing companies, and investors interested in the cutting edge of technology are looking to quantum computing as perhaps the next big investing trend, which will follow artificial intelligence over the next few years. I'm going to compare these two companies on critically important metrics for companies in this stage of progress, including revenue, including the balance sheet, including the burn, the cash burn, and valuation measuring on an EV to sales ratio. So let's take a look at these innovative companies and high risk, high reward investments in IonQ and Rigetti. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. So let's start with revenue. But before I show you the actual numbers, well, you can see it on screen. But before I talk about the actual numbers, I wanted to provide some information on the stage these companies are in. Rigetti and IonQ are generating revenue mostly from research institutions. The products, the quantum computing products are not yet viable for enterprise or commercial use. So most of the revenue they're getting is from institutions, government institutions, universities, etc. And these revenues are lumpy. They may get a contract that lasts for six months and then lose that contract. And so revenue could decline. And so this is not indicative. For instance, when you look at Rigetti, its revenue has declined since 2022. But that's not indicative of the company's future prospects. It's not in decline. It's still in very early stage growth. And so even though IonQ has experienced significantly more growth than Rigetti, it doesn't mean that in the long term, IonQ will win these investments in the long term. So that being said, let's take a look at the actual revenue. IonQ further ahead in the technology, generating $52.4 million in revenue. That's up more than 25x from 2021, where it generated $2.1 in revenue. Rigetti, meanwhile is experiencing fits and starts. It generated 200,000 in revenue in 2019 that jumped to 13 million in 2022 before falling to 7.9 million in the most recent trailing 12 month period. Regardless, each of these two companies at maturity, if they develop this technology and it becomes available for commercial use, the revenues from this technology could surpass billions of dollars. That doesn't mean IonQ and Rigetti will be generating billions of dollars in revenue, but the industry, the quantum computing industry, could be generating tens of billions, maybe hundreds of billions of in revenue, uh, but not anytime soon, certainly not in the next five years, but maybe 10 years down the road, maybe 20 years down the road, maybe IonQ and Rigetti or one of those companies or two of those companies generating billions in revenue. And if they do reach that stage, it's very likely that investors of today will have made a very substantial return on their investment. But the risk is that they don't reach that stage and companies like IBM, Microsoft and Alphabet, which are developing quantum computing research efforts of their own, might develop products that end up taking up the large part of the market and companies like IonQ and Rigetti are left out. That's the big risk with investing in these companies. The next category I wanted to compare these companies on is cash flow from operations. This is to determine their cash burn, how much money they're going through every single year. Now, IonQ is losing more money than Rigetti, but it's also generating more revenue. It's a bigger corporation, has more people on staff, and so the cash burn is larger. In the most recent trailing 12-month period, it went through $144 million. That was up from $106 million the year before. Whereas Rigetti, it's more stable. Its cash flow from operations has uh, remained around 50 million negative over the previous three years after declining from 63 million. So Rigetti is advancing more cautiously, not employing as many people because that's the biggest expense for uh, companies like IonQ and Rigetti is for the researchers on staff developing this technology. These are very, very smart individuals earning salaries in excess of six figures in most cases. And so this is where the biggest expense is 
for Rigetti and Ion Q, and Ion Q is hiring more individuals. And you can see as a percentage of revenue, that gives us more insight into the cash flow from operations. So we look at Ion Q generated 52 million in revenue, and the cash burn was negative 144 million. So less than 3x revenue they're burning through in terms of cash flow from operations. Meanwhile, Rigetti at negative 54 million, if we compare that to revenue of 8 million, that's a lot larger on a closer to 7x cash flow from operations to revenue burn rate for Rigetti. So even though Rigetti is losing less money or going through less money as a percentage of revenue, Rigetti is going through more money compared to Ion Q. So the balance sheet becomes important with companies like this because you want to determine how much runway they have, how much time they have to hit that next milestone. And milestones are incredibly important. Every time they hit a milestone, the stock price likely will increase and they can use that higher stock price to sell more shares to raise more capital from investors to allow them time to hit that next milestone they can also potentially tap debt markets and borrow money at lower interest rates when they hit those next milestones so i like to look at the cash flow uh and the cash balance ion q has 140 million dollars in cash on hand Compare that with its most recent cash flow from operations of 144 million, they have about one year of cash on hand. Meanwhile, Brigetti has 57 million. And again, if you compare with their cash from operations at negative 54 million, they also have about one year of cash on hand. Now, there's other sources of capital these companies can tap, and their runway is likely a little bit longer than this, but they have enough time to hit that next milestone so that they can raise more capital from investors. They both have a solid balance sheet in terms of the amount of cash on hand. So now let's look at valuation. And uh, since they're not profitable and they're generating negative cash flow, I chose to use the EV to sales ratio to measure the valuation here. And it's very early days. So valuation is not as meaningful for these types of very early stage companies. Still, I'll take a look and use this as a barometer for my decision on which one I would rather own. IonQ is trading at an EV to sales of 200, while Rigetti is trading at an EV to sales of over 530. So overall, IonQ is further along its uh, cash flow burn compared to its, its revenue is in better position. The balance sheet has more cash available. And I think that position will allow it to raise capital from investors uh, more easily than Rigetti, giving it more time. And I think time is the key here to develop this technology. So if I had to pick one of these two quantum computing stocks to buy today, I would pick IonQ as the better investment. Hey everyone, I'm excited to announce that my book, Make Money Buying and Selling Stocks, a six-step framework for evaluating publicly traded companies, is finally available for sale. Unlock the power of intelligent investing with my six-step investing framework. It's a proven system designed by a university professor and a chartered financial analyst. Frustrated by the lack of frameworks that met my needs and high standards, I developed this comprehensive guide to help investors at all levels make confident and informed decisions. In this book, you learn how to assess opportunities, manage risk, and build a portfolio that works for you. No investor should dive into the market without a solid strategy, and this step-by-step -step framework provides you the roadmap you need. Whether you're just starting out or looking to refine your approach, this guide will empower you to take control of your financial future. I've added the link in the description below.